A quick recap. Last episode, we modeled the whipped cream using curves and a custom profile. To make the syrup topping on the cupcake, we will make use of another technique, where we can draw the curves freehand on any surface. To make this work, let's take a look at our object from the top, then add a curve. When we go into edit mode of the curve, we can see that there are a few options on the left of the screen. If you can't see them, just press T. The option we want is called Draw, and it lets you make curve freehand. Right now, it's doing it relative to the 3D cursor. What does that mean? Well, that we're drawing on a plane at the level of the 3D cursor and facing our view. We can select to draw on the surface. That way, we can draw our topping directly over the whipped cream. There isn't a right way to do it. Just imagine how it would look if you are actually making a cupcake. It could be long broad strokes or a circular motion, it's up to you. Now that we have a curve, we can give it some thickness with the bevel settings in its geometry tab and play with the radius of some of the points using the Alt S command. Having proportional editing enabled might come in handy for that part. Usually syrup is thicker where it changes direction. Lastly, let's fix the places where the syrup intersects with itself. Go to the modifiers and add a remesh modifier set to voxel. This will turn the whole volume of the object into a solid mesh without overlaps and holes. If the result is too rough, lower the voxel size carefully. Also, if you are getting some strange results, you can check if the curve is capped instead of being just a tube. Also, make sure to enable smooth shading in the modifier settings. Using a modifier will help us edit things further down if we need. Let's do the same trick with the remesh modifier for the whipped cream while we're at it. In the next lesson, we're placing the sprinkles. Also, if you have skipped some of the previous steps but wish to follow along from here, you can get all the project files for this tutorial series from the link in the description below. Also, I will be adding some bonus videos in there if anyone wants to speed up their learning process. Subscribe for more tutorials and see you in the next episode.